Now that you've downloaded the Metal Studs and Drywall Parts Complete plugin and the MSDP Pricing plugin, with PlanSwift open, I want to explain how these two plugins work together. The Metal Studs and Drywall Parts Complete plugin contains all of the material and labor parts. The MSDP pricing contains all of the material prices. The two plugins look at each other. They do not work separately, they work together. One will not work without the other. If you do not have both of these tabs downloaded in PlanSwift, pause this video and download both plugins into PlanSwift. Double click on the MSDP pricing yellow folder. The items property window opens. The first time you download the pricing folder, all of the material subfolders will open as the default. It is hard to see all of the subfolders in one window. I would like you to close them so you can see all of them in one window and not have to scroll down and search for the different type of material. This way you can see all of the material at a glance. Click Apply and OK. This will keep all of the folders closed from now on. Each time you open this pricing folder, it will look like this. Double click. You want to go through this material list and enter the prices you're paying. This is going to be your master price list for PlanSwift to pull from each time you do an estimate. Open these folders and go through here and change all of these prices to your own prices. And when you finish going through the whole list, click Apply and OK. Then, I want you to save a copy of the MSDP pricing tab on your local drive or on your server. I made a folder called MSDP on my server. So the other estimators in our office who have planned SWIFT have access to the pricing tab as well. Right click on the MSDP pricing blue tab Click on the Export tab, but before you save this tab, I want you to change the name to MSDP Pricing Master. So click in here, Space, Master, and then click Save. Now I want you to delete this tab. Right click, delete tab, now the only folder you have in PlanSwift is the parts folder. Each time you begin a new estimate you want to open a new pricing folder specifically for that job. And this is how you do that. Go to your hard drive and download the pricing folder where you saved it. When the import tab window opens, change the name back to MSD Pricing. Remember the parts folder is looking for the pricing folder. 
the name of the pricing folder has to be correct. Any extra characters will cause an error in the program. If you name it anything but MSDP space pricing, you will not see any prices. Then click Job tab loaded with this job and click OK. Always make sure when you are changing the name of the folder that the cursor is blinking right up against the last letter in the name. If you send a material list to your suppliers after you're done doing the estimate so they can price the job for you, you can go back into the estimate and you can change the prices in the pricing folder for that job and it will only change the prices for that job. Now let me go over this one more time for you. You have a master price list saved on your hard drive. Every time you start a new estimate, you need to make a copy of that price list and change the name back to MSDP Pricing and load it into PlanSwift for that specific job. Let me show you once more. You finished this estimate and you close the job. Now let's open another job. You will not find a pricing folder in PlanSwift. You will only have the parts folder. You need to make a gray tab parts folder for each estimate. You see here, there's no pricing folder, therefore the parts are not going to be working properly. So let's go back to our server, go to our MSDP folder, double click on our pricing master, change the price back, backspace all the way to the G, click on the job tab loaded with this job only, click OK. And now we have a gray tab pricing folder for this new estimate we're about to do. This concludes this video on how the pricing folders are set up.